all righty, everybody. Um, before um, we get to, you know, stuff involving the NFL and stuff like that, we got to talk about, you know, the bowl season it is right around the corner. And we know all the complaints. Oh, well, these players are going to sit out. And these players aren't motivated for this game. And, 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 and all that. Wah, 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 wah. There's too many bowl games. Wah. And all that good stuff. But it is what it is. Um, I'm excited for the bowl season. Um, the bowls actually start Friday, December the 20th this year. And, of course, first off, you know, uh, before we even talk about the bowl games, let's talk about Army versus Navy. Yes, sir. Once again, for the 120th time, we all get to see what in the world is going to happen in this game. Who is going to sing second? Who is going to win this football game? Who, Whose seniors are going to have that last gasp of victory uh, on the football field before they go off into service? And Army this year has not had... The best of years, they've lost some games that are very, very close. They've lost, they've won some games that are very, very close, and everything like that. And it, 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 it's it's very interesting to see, you know, what in the world happened to this team this year. Um, as we look around and whatnot to see what their schedule was like this year. Um, so obviously, this game will take place. This Saturday, it will be in between, you know, it's in between the end of the conference championships and everything like that and the bowl season. So it's all alone aside from FCS, Division Two, and Division Three, and NIAA playoff games. But this game takes center stage. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, we, I'm going to make an FCS playoff preview for tomorrow. Well, actually, I won't be here tomorrow, but it, it might be it might be late tomorrow night when that video comes. But anyway, that's that's not that's not what we're here for at all. Let's talk about Army and let's go real in depth here. Um, the high the high points of their season was taking on Michigan on September the seventh, and they lost that game 24-21 in the overtime, and they had the game won. But they threw the ball twice, and there were two turnovers based off of that. Um, and it's been a weird, weird season since to where they've lost about six of their last eight, only winning against UMass and VMI in their last couple of games. They ju they literally just lost against Hawaii on the seventh of the first, and their bowl season, it's a no-go. No-go on the bowls for them. So they are coming in with a record of five and seven. And they are led by Jeff Munkin and their quarterback, which I do have to look up a little bit here because I am I am not well versed in Army's um, players and whatnot, because it's been it's been a while. And Kelvin Hopkins should have forgot I shouldn't have forgotten. But, you know, Kelvin Hopkins, Jeff Munkin, these two guys have been something that it's been a treat watching Kelvin Hopkins throw the ball um, this year for Army uh, in, in the very few games that I have seen him in. Um, and Jeff Munkin is a great coach. I mean, you can't you can't make this stuff up with the triple – with well, let's not call it that, but the option, the spread option – um, offense, the other center spread option offense anyway. And, you know, it's going to be great. It's going to be a great, great time, and I'm ready for it. You know, uh, Army is looking to, you know, they, they they can't. they I don't think they can get the trophy this year, but um, the commander-in-chief trophy, but they can, they can see second if they beat Navy, and it's going to be fun. going to be fun for Navy. Gonna be fun for armies too. So let's talk about Navy real quick, led by Ken Niamatalolo, uh, who also run the same spread option, 
slash triple option flex bone under center type stuff. And they've got, you know, some, they've got a lot going on this year. They are riding high, and this team is going to the Liberty Bowl against Kansas State. I will not be watching the Liberty Bowl, of course. Um, I only watch the bowl games on Saturday, so it's going to be, that'll be an interesting game. But this year, um, they, they lost early against Memphis, and that loss against Memphis proved to be the, um, proved to be the dagger in their season. That loss because Memphis, they only lost the Temple. They did lose the Navy. They lost the Temple. Memphis was able to go to the American Athletic Conference Championship over Navy because of that win that they had so early on in the season. And that was on September the 28th. So Navy season, um, as far as the American Athletic Conference race, ended there. But Malcolm Perry, of a guy who I haven't really been too high on, has led Navy to a 9-2 season so far. And their only other slip-up um, came against Notre Dame, 52-20. to And that was the game that Notre Dame didn't even sell out their own their own damn stadium. But, you know, it is what it is. But they are riding high. They have some big victories against SMU and, and uh, Air Force. So, you know. They could be looking to take the Commander in Chief's trophy for themselves. Now, this game is going to be fun. I guarantee you it'll still go about three, maybe three and a half hours just because it's on CBS. But I, I to be completely honest with you, it's going to be, you know, one of those days where it's like I don't even know what's gonna happen. It takes again, it's in Philadelphia. So, you know. Um, and college game day will be there, so you know it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm pretty sure game day will probably talk and, and moan about you know the college football playoff for four hours again, but <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, that is that in a nutshell, and it's gonna be great this Saturday. I, I can't wait to be completely honest with you, can't wait for the Army Navy game. Um, so yeah, um, I think I'm gonna, well, actually, no, <laughs> hold on a minute. I guess we can do this right now. Um, I guess we can do this right now. And that is the FCS playoff previews as well. We will get some of these in here and talking about them as well. Um. So with the FCS right now, it is the two-team race that everybody seems to be going for. That you know, James Madison, North Dakota State, um, that seems to be where it's heading. Uh, but there are three Big Sky teams, three Missouri Valley Football Conference teams: um, Austin P from the Ohio Valley, and of course, you know. James Madison from the CAA. And first matchup on Friday night. This will be the ESPN. This will be an ESPN game. ESPN 2, by the way. On Friday night, uh, Northern Iowa taking on James Madison. Uh, James Madison could, you know, do what they did. Um, do what they did against, you know, um, against Monmouth, where they just absolutely stuffed them. I think it'll be. You know, an interesting game right there. Um, don't know much about Northern Iowa right now, but that 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 that's a game that's there. Austin P has suddenly made it all the way to these to the semifinal to the, to the quarterfinals. I can't I can't remember exactly, but I want to say the quarterfinal. God, I'm stupid. Uh, don't, don't, don't quote me on that. Um, but these are the last eight teams, so Austin P takes on Montana State in the cold, more than likely, on Friday the 7th the 13th at 7 o'clock on ESPN3, um, fortunately, because ESPN3 is trash, but, you know, we're not going not gonna to talk about that right now. Uh, Austin P, great season they're having out there, great playoff run. They could spoil Montana State's. You know, they could spoil their hopes. They 
Austin P is unseated. They're an unseated team. Do believe that Montana State is seated. So um, that's going to be fun. Um, that game will be fun. Montana and Weber State, a big sky, you know, matchup in the uh, third round of the playoffs. And this game takes place on Friday the 13th as well at 9 o'clock on ESPN2. And that's going to be fun as well. Um, not sure why, you know, there's three games on Friday um, that are not, that are like on ESPN2, but oh, like two of them are ESPN2, and one of them is on ESPN3. But okay, sure, I'll, I'll take it. You know, if this is a ploy to try and get more FCS matchups on TV by ESPN, then that's great. But this is not the way to do it. I, I want kind of want to watch them all, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but yeah, um, and then Saturday, there's only one game on Saturday, and I was a little bit miffed about that. Um, Illinois State taking on the reigning, defending, undisputed 34 straight win, having North Dakota State Bison, the number one seed in all of FCS, the best team in FCS right now, based on that winning streak that I just told you about. Um, so longer than Clemson's too. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, and no, North Dakota State's not moving up. Stop that. Stop that nonsense right now. Now, this could be another tough game. I do believe these two teams played earlier in the season, and North Dakota State was rattled a little bit. But um, honestly, they should take care of business here. Um, so should James Madison, it looks like. And that's what I've been saying for, you know, the last couple of weeks now. It's um, it's going to be – it's. That's what most people are saying as well, is that it's going to be the one at the two taking on each other at Frisco on, in, in January, um, that January 11th game, I believe. And it'll be on ABC, of course, which we also discussed a while back. But um, the FCS playoffs, I am excited. I'm going to be going to try and look up some more stuff about some of these teams because I haven't watched – Many FCS games all season long. There's um, very few FCS games that I truly watch, which is sad. Um, I have to pay attention to the FBS more, uh, but I want to pay attention more to the FCS because it has the superior playoff system. And um, to be completely honest with you, sure, the best two teams probably may still go to the title game this year. But hey, everybody is fighting for their playoff for their playoff lives here. I mean, you've got an unseated team in Austin P, who people doubted, and they're going, and they're going, they're in the final eight. So um, these matchups determine who the final four seeds are. It, it'll look like the college football playoff will be done at the end of the day on Saturday. Well, we were done at the end of the North Dakota State game on Saturday, so. We'll find out what happens there. Um, we'll find out what in the world's going on with the Army Navy game this year. And it's going to be a fun Saturday. I can't wait. Are you ready? Because I am. And we'll talk about the December the 21st bowl games very, very soon. And we'll talk about the New Year's Six plus the other two New Year's Day games that aren't a part of the New Year's Six the Citrus and the Outback, along with the Cotton Peach uh, Fiesta. Um, sugar, rose, and um, the orange. So we'll talk about those, um, you know, in the next two weeks. And that is going to do it for this video, y'all. You guys are the real MVPs. You guys are the best. And so happy to stay along for the ride. Also, I have this Love Condom shirt on. Um, so, you know, um, be safe out there. Um, it's Christmas. Um, don't be giving out. Don't be giving out bad treats now. <laughs> and also, there is an interview with a um, with the UNT student that I did on in, in November sometime. It's in the playlist for the Objective Slant. It is there, and it is ready for you to view. 
and all that good stuff. So y'all take care. This has been long, about 15 minutes too long. Um, but <laughs> y'all, I will see you guys um, tomorrow for the NFL recap and preview for the next week because we got a lot to talk about. Y'all take care tonight. Peace.